talking about all things skin today. So, mm -hmm. um, skin cellulite is one of the biggest problems with skin, and so as you want your body to look good from the outside and not wrinkled, you also want to minimize those appearances of cellulite or things that make us not feel pretty. Hi, welcome this week to the Naked Doctor Show. I'm Dr. Tammy. I'm Lauren. We have a great show for you today. It's the skin show. Mm -hmm. Show a little skin. <laughs> Tan skin. Tan skin, yes. I've had a few little vacations this <laughs> summer, so it's been super fun. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we wanted to introduce, which we're gonna introduce today, is a new product that is not a new product, but it's new to our new carb melt line, so mm -hmm. that's super exciting. And we want to talk about the science behind how we do certain things for the skin. And skin is really important, you know, and some people probably look and say, well, hope she's spray tanned. But my personal thought on skin is that as long as you don't burn, then the DNA repair process in the skin, that's actually healthy because of vitamin D conversion and vitamin D is actually hormones. So we're going to talk about hormones a little bit today, of course. But it's actually healthy to get a little bit of sun. Mm -hmm. But it's when you burn that's the problem. Well, and as a, it, you know, as a somebody who is, has actually very uh, light, pale, um, milky skin, you know, I know like my limit to what I can handle as far as you know how much sunscreen to apply, or you know when I don't don't necessarily need sunscreen or whatever. Um, but like my skin doesn't ever turn that color unless I do spray tan, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, it's yes, sun is good for you, but it, it's also, you know, understanding the, um, what, melanin yeah. in your skin that, uh, um, so you don't burn, you know, yeah. so. And most people know that, you know, because yeah. when you're a little kid, you get enough sunburns to understand. Yeah, right, and they actually <laughs> talk about the, in medicine, we talk about the risk of sunburn based on, uh, or skin cancer based on how many sunburns you've had as a kid, and mm. so like, with that, I'm like really at risk, you know, because I've yeah. had so many sunburns as a kid. Same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about a couple different things. So we're gonna introduce our new cellulite uh, internal um, hydration system. So who doesn't deal with a little bit of cellulite? And you know, it's funny because you always see the celebrities, everybody's got cellulite. So even though not everybody's talking about, it, I even see young girls you know, now with a little cellulite, mm -hmm. so um, everybody's got it. Right, so and it's not even necessarily about. like that it's, you know, has everything to do with weight or anything like that, because you'll see sometimes people who are, um, who look heavier, or, you know, somebody you may consider overweight don't have any cellulite yeah. at all, which yeah. is interesting, you know, and then somebody who's really, really tiny, uh, having like really bad cellulite, so um, this is kind of a cool product to, you know, to help understand, you know, what exactly that is and how to, what you can do to help it. Yeah. So. All right, so we're going to talk about that and more on the show. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Hi, welcome back to The Naked Doctor. I'm Dr. Tammy. I'm Lauren. And we are talking about skin today. Mm -hmm. Everybody's out and getting some sun, sun this <laughs> summer. And, you know, one of the things we worry about, especially we're just talking about sunburn um, during, you know, before break, is that the DNA has to repair anytime you have damage to the skin. So a little bit of sun is a good thing. Vitamin D conversion, which is actually a hormone, which helps your other hormones work better. And so mm -hmm. one of the things I explained- say that again. Yeah. One vitamin of the, D. Vitamin D is actually a hormone. People think it's just a vitamin, mm -hmm. which 
um, it is supplemented, but it kind of has that misname of vitamin. Right. Um, kind of like cholesterol is actually a hormone as mm -hmm. well that makes your other hormones. So um, vitamin D regulates your immune system. So it's actually part of the repair process, which is why it's in the skin, because it's actually part of that immune process. And a lot of your immune system is in the skin because it has to protect you from the outside world. So as um, a s hormone that it is, it regulates the amount of hormones that are available in your body. Mm -hmm. And it does that through something called sex hormone binding globulin. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know that term. But it's like we've talked about before, a Swiss bank account, right? Mm -hmm. So that money over there in Switzerland is still your money. It's just harder to access. Mm -hmm. It's the same way with vitamin D regulating these other binding proteins. It's still your hormones, your testosterone for a libido and energy and muscle making for mostly, you know, for men, but women too. It's your estrogen, progesterone, all the things that help with anti-aging, keep us from wrinkling mm -hmm. on the skin. So it makes those more available. So vitamin D is super important. Which makes sense because, well, makes, which makes sense of why uh, in the summer, typically we feel a lot better because everything is being regulated mm -hmm. by actually getting some sun you know yes. you have it, it, so in the winter you have the the sad you know seasoning yeah. but it's you know really it's most likely due to a vitamin d deficiency because what you said helps your immune system and helps regulate your hormones so you're going to feel best when your immune system is at its, at its best at its highest and also when your hormones are regulated yeah. and you're actually being able to access that swiss bank account and, right. and activate these hormones throughout your body. So that yeah. actually makes a lot of sense. You're so <laughs> smart. You know, I mean, I never even really thought about that connection, but mm -hmm. it's true. And I had a patient at one time who was really depressed. She called it the sadness. And her vitamin D, like the range is um, 30 to 80. Most people, optimal is around 60 to 80. Her vitamin D was like 18. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we got her vitamin D levels up, which vitamin D is actually a, a fat-soluble hormone, right? So once we got her vitamin D levels up, and you don't want to get too much, which is why monitoring, one thing we do at Healing Arts Centers here is lab work and monitor those things because those levels are uh, super important to assess. But once we got her vitamin D levels up, all her seasonal sadness mm -hmm. went away and so and she was even spilling over into all year long because the hormones that were affected so simple thing like that can make people feel so much better mm -hmm. and if even if people are worried about hormones you know we can we have whole discussions about hormone balance basically everybody thinks a hormone is estrogen but even if you don't want estrogen or you're scared of estrogen there's so many other things that you can supplement with, like vitamin D, that can help the balance as well. Awesome. So how does our new product, the Carmel Collagen Hydrate, work? And it's basically hyaluronic acid, which is the substance in the collagen. And collagen is that deep substance underneath the skin that is the scaffolding. You know, it's kind of like... Um, when you build a house, it's kind of like the, the insulation between mm -hmm. the drywall. And so if you have any kind of hydration issues, which means, you know, water, basically, the saturation of the water in the cells or hydration, what you get is these dimpling effects or these deficits. And so the hyaluronic acid helps fill that in. And, you know, our fillers that we use, if someone comes in and gets, like, radius or juvederm, mm -hmm. Those are all hyaluronic acid. Mm. So this is taking that for the skin internally. So it not only helps, you know, if we use those fillers, it reduces the fine lines and the mm -hmm. wrinkles, but it also builds the scaffolding under the skin. It's hydrating. It's hydrating, yeah. And it sucks in the moisture and it continues to do that. And it stimulates more collagen with time. So we're taking the internal approach. And there are all sorts of different things that specifically with cellulite you can do like that are being marketed out there like rollers and mm -hmm. topical creams. You, and we talked about doing the topical mm -hmm. cream, but most of the most effective topical creams are a caffeine type derivative, which is basically going to constrict the blood vessels and um, 
you know, or like retain water. Or yeah, something? Is that yeah, what yeah, yeah. And oh, so okay. it's kind of filling in exactly. Mm. Um, so you know, we kind of got away from that. We wanted to go internal, but this also hyaluronic acid is comes from rooster combs, which is the same thing that they that we use when we inject. Um, like synvisc or different things like that in joint spaces. So what would you be doing that for? Like to, to replace to, collagen? Yeah, or something? yeah, to fill in the uh, you know the joint spaces where the collagen has eaten away for arthritis and mm -hmm. things like that. So this is also good for joints. It's good for aches and pains, and mm -hmm. it's good for the skin and for cellulite reduction. So it has so many purposes besides just cellulite. Would you be taking it with, like along with um, fish oil and stuff like that uh, for, for pain in the joints and whatnot? Yeah, and I love fish oil. Fish oil is a natural anti-inflammatory. It's better than ibuprofen or Aleve because it doesn't tear the stomach up mm -hmm. like those can. And it works through the same pathway. So, it, you know, and you need your fatty acids as well for hormone production, mm -hmm. for myelin sheaths to prevent Alzheimer's, you know, keep those nerves going and strong and mm -hmm. lubricating the artery. So I love fish oil for all sorts of different so reasons. A combination of the two would be yeah. A plus. Absolutely, especially if you need it for joints. So, you know, longer reaching for pain or arthritis kind of things, but we're talking about all things skin today. So mm -hmm. um, skin, cellulite's one of the biggest problems with skin. And so as you want your body to look good from the outside and not wrinkled, you also want to minimize those appearances of cellulite or things that make us not feel pretty or you know it's sort of the bathing suit cover-up right you're wearing your bikini and you always just want to have the you know the butt covered up <laughs> basically so mm -hmm. and fitness is great too because you know it's funny one of the things that um, there's you have the best butt in the world and it's like when <laughs> when you first came I was like I want your butt and so you're like because you've done all this fitness training and competitions and stuff um, what you're gonna do after the baby's born mm -hmm. right as well but it's like you taught me that just a few exercises I could actually get a butt and so mm -hmm. it's like it's so true I, I took a screenshot of my butt from the tanning bed the other day, the tanning bed, and I sent that to you, and I was like, I'm actually getting a butt now. So, of course, fitness and muscle structure, mm -hmm. and building muscle actually helps with that collagen underneath, so that's why most fit people, you don't see a lot of cellulite on them mm -hmm. as well. Well, and actually, you know, this, this kind of comes up a lot, is when you burn fat, like at the gym, or when you're exercising, where does the fat go? Because you have all the fat cells you're ever going to have. Well, the size of the fat cells, fat or oxidation. fat oxidation, which is why we have the lipomelt as well, but the size of the fat cells are swelling and shrinking based on hydration and based on hormonal influence. So they're not the same fat cells you have when you're a baby. We turn those over every few years, but it's the same amount. So when you see someone who's overweight, particularly in a, sp a certain area like in the hips or the butt or the belly, those are all hormonally influenced, mm -hmm. cortisol, estrogen, testosterone, you mm -hmm. know, depending. So what we want to do is hydrate. So this actually is a part of when we talk about carb melt and our weight loss line, this is actually a great part of that because we're trying to hydrate the muscle because muscle burns fat. And when you actually burn fat, on the treadmill or the you know elliptical or whatever what you're doing is you're blowing off carbon dioxide through the skin which is taking some of the water out so we all know that when you sweat you get dehydrated but when you sweat you're losing some of those carbon hydrogen oxygen molecules that are contributing to your fat so right. it's a little shrinking, complicated science it's but it's shrinking the fat, the fat cell and hydrating hydrating the collagen and mm -hmm. the muscle, mm -hmm. which will then burn fat for you. Mm -hmm. So it's optimal to, you know, put all this stuff together. Yeah, that's cool. Full package. Yeah. So um, while we're kind of here, I'll talk about the lipomel just a little bit. We may need to break them in. Okay, let's take a little bit and we'll come right back and talk about the lipomel. Welcome back. We're talking about skin today. Skin also, and hormones. Skin and hormones. We have so many exciting things. And all of our new weight loss line at carmel.com, my little plug there, right? 
really help with keeping hormones balanced. So everything has some sort of hormonal influence. Mm -hmm. um, and then we always have, you know, come get your hormones checked. If you're menopausal or you're having lots of female or male problems or just tired, you know, you might need your hormones checked. Yeah, or, and weight loss in general, you know, when you've tried everything, yeah. probably a hormone issue. So, yeah. you know, it's always a good place to start is checking your hormones to see where to go from there. Yeah. And, um, oh, and we also, before I forget, we launched our food sensitivity testing, mm -hmm. which is literally a blood test mm -hmm. that detects the foods that make you fat mm -hmm. because they're the foods that cause inflammation in your body. Mm -hmm. So it's a great adjunct to all this to be able to, everybody knows gluten usually causes issues and sugar and dairy. dairy cheese. Yeah, all the big <laughs> ones. Um, but the nice thing about doing specific testing is it might not be gluten, and then mm -hmm. you're giving up gluten for no good reason, mm -hmm. right? You so could be eating bread every day. Yeah, so that's on our website at carbonell.com mm -hmm. too. But anyway, so lipo mount, we're talking about hormones and the influence of weight loss and how all this works together, um, actually helps the adrenal glands, which produce a lot of your hormones, including your cortisol, anti-inflammatory hormone, which causes belly fat if it's out of balance, um, actually helps with your energy levels, also helps stimulate a gland in the head that makes your sleep hormone melatonin. So it has so many different functions. And it um, also accelerates the fat oxidation process, which is what we are just talking about. Yeah. As far as whenever you're working out, what's happening is your fat cells are shrinking. That's the fat oxidation process. Mm -hmm. And so it's like if you took that, then it would, if you were just in a gym, you know, without taking it, you know, you'd have a certain level of, um, of that happening. But if you take this while working out, it increases that process to like, what, a 30, like yeah. a 30 percent or something 30 like that. More so burn, yeah. it's almost like it, you know, it turns a jog into uh, a fast run, you know, it turns a fast walk into a fast jog, or, you know, yeah. um, so it just, it helps that process. You know, it's interesting too, as I've been on vacation quite a bit over the summer and my tolerance when I get back to the gym after I've been on vacation a week or so, you know, you just feel like you got to get that, you know, you feel sluggish. Stamina, yeah. This, like, if I take this right before I go to the gym, like, of course I have more energy when I take it anyway, but my stamina is increased oh, because nice. that oxidation is, it's all processed. Or like so activated. Yeah. When you get, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So kind of cool little thing there. So carb melt is just, you know, our, 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 flagship product and so I'm not really on here to sell supplements just really at the end of the day you know what we sell is education and information but um, but carb melt is a sugar blocker so it actually decreases your sugar absorption when mm -hmm. you eat carbs so it allows you to eat more carbs which is really hard to limit that you know I think mm -hmm. that's why a lot of those keto diets and things like that fade away because nobody can maintain that mm -hmm. low carb Right. Diet forever. Yeah. Makes you kind of crazy. Not eating enough carbs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and some people don't do well with that because they have blood sugar issues and mm -hmm. insulin issues. So this actually helps the sugar cravings and the blood mm -hmm. sugar regulation issues that where you get tired or you get weak or prone to diabetes and it's mm -hmm. all connected. So, um, and then we came up with Carmel Support, just a quick plug on that. And that's magnesium, which helps everything in the body work better. Magnesium is actually um, part of the cell structure that it's kind of like a gateway that opens and closes into the muscles and the fat. So magnesium actually helps as well as moving food through your system. But magnesium um, also can help with fat oxidation, things like that, because of the little gatekeeper on the cells. So, and it just helps the blood flow stay better, which if we're talking about skin and collagen, we want the blood flow to those areas, mm -hmm. the channels open and flowing. Yeah, Interesting thing, when I was in residency, you know, we had pregnant women come in with high blood pressure. We didn't give them blood pressure medicine because it'd be harmful to the baby. We gave them magnesium. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have a natural blood pressure medicine right here so easy and you know of course pharmaceutical companies want to use all those expensive potentially dangerous meds mm -hmm. and i'm not don't stop your blood pressure medicine if you're <laughs> on it that's my disclaimer <laughs> however i use magnesium with people with blood pressure problems all the time and migraines and mm -hmm. all that so it just relaxes the blood vessels well if it relaxes the blood vessels to reduce high blood pressure it actually increases the flow of blood 
two fat cells, two muscle cells. Mm. It helps so, that process. Yeah. yeah, and so when we talk about sense. the collagen hydrate, it just helps the hydration because mm -hmm. you know the water basically travels through the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. That's how you hydrate. Mm -hmm. And we got so we got blood sugar, blood blood pressure, <laughs> <laughs> fat oxidation, <laughs> and cellulite reduction, as well as joints and whole pharmacy skin. Right here. Yeah, right. It's all very cool. <laughs> um, then we've also got our metabolic pack, which has vitamin D, which we talked about, B vitamins, iodine, which helps with the skin, and it's just sort of all things. Put together that that you need for metabolism mm -hmm. and it's kind of like a multivitamin on steroids <laughs> mm -hmm. if you will and one of my favorite products is um, this isn't private labeled I we actually get this from a company called Beverly Hills MD it's called crepe cream I absolutely love this stuff I've used all sorts of different products had all these companies approach me about you know even private labeling and using stuff and I don't know we probably could even private label this but um, I don't care because I love this. I pretty much soak up in it every what night. Does it do for you? It's basically got a bunch of different natural supplements, so it's all natural, which I love. It's got some hormone influence in it as well. I won't go into all the nerdy science with that for time, but um, it's got some proteins in it like TMAE and things. There was a, a doctor named Dr. Pericone who did, who was out of California did years and years and years of research in skin and cellulite and wrinkling and um, basically came up with a whole bunch of products. Well, they've combined pretty much all those ingredients into one and like it's amazing because it hydrates the skin is basically the bottom line, which is why we want the collagen hydrate. Hydrating the skin is everything because it's dehydration that makes you wrinkle or get that crepey appearance and you know in medical school we used to do this thing where we would um, pinch the skin up. Check hydration. Hydration yeah mm -hmm. we do that in babies too to mm -hmm. see if they're dehydrated and so if the skin stays up you know that tells you that you're dehydrated and as we age the skin's yours pops back a lot faster than mine being what 30 something I'm versus just, 50 something. I'm just a little floating in water retention right now. <laughs> You should see my ankles. <laughs> yeah, so that's why, you know, hydration is so yes, important. And important. most people don't drink enough water. You know, they think eight, eight ounce glasses a day, but it base, it's based on weight. So if you do it based on weight, um, like us, eight, eight ounce glasses is probably about half of what a person needs. So you take someone who's two, three hundred pounds, mm -hmm. they need like three, four times what that you know, casual recommendation mm. as it's gotten a lot of buzz. But anyway, I actually, I absolutely love this cream and use it. I use a ton of coconut oil as well. Mm. Coconut oil is great for um, the hair as well, hydrates the hair. Mm. Interesting thing about coconut oil is that straight virgin coconut oil is actually good for acne because everyone's afraid of putting grease yeah. on acne but it helps kill bacteria. So it's an antibacterial, antiviral, mm -hmm. and a lot of acne is caused by bacteria getting down into the, the sweat and glands and the mm -hmm. pores. So, you know, coconut oil, love that. I usually just bathe myself in coconut mm -hmm. oil. This stuff, do you, do you put on your face or do you put everywhere? You can put anywhere you have what's called crepe or wrinkling, mm -hmm. fine wrinkling of the skin, but mostly I just do it on my neck and face. Cool. Yeah, but absolutely love it. And, you know, you could put it on any areas of cellulite because it hydrates the skin as well. So um, great products. I use coconut oil internally, too. And we have a product here that's an MCT oil, mm -hmm. which is a derivative of coconut oil. I put that in my protein shake every morning. And it's good for your brain, too. And it's good for your brain, absolutely. They think that Alzheimer's is like a type 3 diabetes. So it helps basically lubricate, hydrate the brain, and um, help with blood sugar regulation, too. Mm won't get into all that complicated nerdy science, but um, it's our MCT oil. And we're getting our protein powder soon, right? Mm. Our carb melt protein powder. Yep. So that'll be available on, the, way. Yep. on the website. So yeah, we're super excited. So we're gonna have all things hormone related. And I do wanna just get a plug in for estrogen. Everybody gives estrogen a bad rap, but estrogen 
increases the collagen in the skin because anybody who's aging who has decreased estrogen, estrogen actually helps with the elasticity of the urethra, so it helps with incontinence, it helps with wrinkling, it helps bone density. So if you're especially menopausal, get your levels mm -hmm. checked because we have all ways of helping that and balancing that. Mm -hmm. so when I was working out, I, I, I know that my estrogen was a lot lower mm -hmm. um, just from working out all the time and my testosterone got so high and that it I looked older mm -hmm. and I mean this was five years ago but I probably look five years older than I do now and also um yeah it was it it my skin was worse um and then what else did you say about estrogen just now that was uh hydrate wait oh yeah and also I knew my estrogen was low because um I was really hot all yeah the time. yeah yeah uh, hot so, flushes so hot it regulates so. mood absolutely yeah. not so. pregnancy brain so i forget what i'm talking about right my sin is <laughs> well your, we proge like your progesterone's <laughs> high and your estrogen's low so that's what we call pregnancy <laughs> brain right? oh okay yeah i'm yeah. over here sweating oh, yeah. <laughs> low estrogen <laughs> yeah so awesome all sorts of effects so don't let that slide you by and let menopause um lead you into early aging but you know it's interesting because the female or male hormones have this balance with cortisol and cortisol is your anti-inflammatory and helps regulate your different hormones in your body too so that imbalance can actually make you look older when you have too much cortisol which is stress can increase cortisol too and that's why people are under a lot of emotional stress age faster look at our presidents you know they get out of office and they have gray hair and they are wrinkled and they the stress has just like aged them extremely so um, that all can be balanced and we can help with that and life coaching too to help people deal with stress so we do so much here our website is healingartcenters.com so you can check us out for all that stuff too mm -hmm. Yeah. It's probably time to kind of wrap up a little bit. We'll take a little commercial break okay. and we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back. We've had a great show today. I hope you've kind of enjoyed some of this nerdy science behind um, different supplements we have. And again, you know, I'm not trying to sell supplements, but these are great things that we put together. These are not new combinations, but we are we put these. They're new combinations, but they're tested, researched, tried different supplements, and so we've just put them together. And the combination of everything is just a beautiful balance. So. Mm -hmm. Um, again, carbmelt.com is the flagship, so go to carbmelt.com. You can look at all our products there, and uh, healingartcenters.com if you want to come see us and get your hormones checked and balanced or anything that you might need. Mm -hmm. Facebook page, The Naked Doctor. Mm -hmm. Naked Doctor Show and Healing Art Centers. We've got a new Carb Melt page. Um, yeah, pretty much you can Instagram, you, you young Instagram whippersnappers well. mm -hmm. are on the Instagram. Yep. And thank you to those who have uh, suggested uh, or requested things for us to talk about. Very helpful because, yeah. um, you know, we want to give you what you need. So absolutely, continue to bring those questions and comments to us. And what, our next show or two, we might have a baby to bring on the My set. <laughs> <laughs> thank hopefully. you. For, hopefully. <laughs> Soon. Yeah. Thank you for being here this week. We love you very much. Have a blessed week and a beautiful skin week. Enjoy those vacations, and uh, we'll be back next week. See you then. Thanks for watching.